The TikTok algorithm has recently changed, and if you don't update the times that you're posting, the hashtags that you're using, and a few other things that I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video, you are going to see a massive decrease in both the amount of followers that you're getting and the amount of views that you're getting. A lot of people right now think that TikTok's organic reach is dead, and that could not be further from the truth if you adjust for the new TikTok algorithm. The only reason that your views will be dropping on TikTok is because you're not paying attention to the things that I share with you in this video. In fact, this creator, this creator, this creator, and this creator all gained 100,000 followers in the last 30 days of my mentorship program, and you can do the same exact thing if you implement all these steps. Step number one is making sure that you're implementing the right keywords in your hashtags, in the description of your video, and as text on the screen or as a voiceover in your video. You guys need to realize something. TikTok is transcribing videos. When you upload sounds onto TikTok, if there's any type of voice, they're transcribing that. What does that mean? That means that they're actually looking at the words that you're using, be it the sound that you're using, the song that you're using, and then they're going to determine who to actually push your content to. I'll give you a prime example. This creator right here gained over a million followers in my mentorship program. Look at this post and look at this post. They're the same length, using almost the same sound, using almost the same topic, but there is a slight difference and the difference is in the massive difference in the amount of views that they got. The reason that that occurred was not because he'd made a bad post, was not because he posted at the wrong time, was not because TikTok hates him. It's simply because the keywords in this video were a lot better than the keywords that were used in this video. Now essentially there are four different places that you could be putting keywords in your videos that are going to help you get more views and help you get more followers. But before I dive into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, here's my phone number right here. Make sure you hit me up. Also, I created a free TikTok growth course. You can get it the link in the pinned comment below. It is 100% free right now, but I will be charging for it in the future. So please make sure you get into it before that happens. So essentially there are four different places that you can be putting the keywords that TikTok is gonna be looking at. The first one is in the description of your video. The second one, in the hashtags in your video, which we're gonna get into in a little bit because if you do not adapt to the new hashtag strategies that TikTok wants you to use and there was a massive, massive update, then your views are going to tank, your posts are going to die, and I know that that's happening to a lot of you guys. But you also need to make sure that you're using it as text on the screen and in the voiceover. Ideally, you want the keyword in all four placements, but the most important important ones, if you were only gonna choose two of them, it's going to be in one, the text that's on the screen, and two, in the transcription of the video, AKA what you're actually saying in that video. But like I alluded to before, that is not the only change you need to be making with this algorithm update. When it comes to hashtags, you need to make sure that you're not making a ton of mistakes that I see so many creators making that are killing their views. First, using irrelevant hashtags. Do not do this. Second, using trending hashtags on a video that is not trending. Do not do that. This is one of the biggest mistakes that you can make. The reason being, when you use hashtags that are irrelevant on a TikTok video, guess what TikTok does? TikTok uses those hashtags to determine what audience they should be pushing your content to. They push your content to the wrong audience. You're your watch time is going to decrease. People are not going to be interested in whatever hook you're using or whatever kind of content you're creating. Thus, they're going to stop pushing out your video. For a lot of you guys, this is why your video takes off in the first 30 minutes, the first three hours, sometimes even the first 24 hours, and then it dies because you didn't do a good enough job of letting TikTok know, hey, I am participating in a trend. People like this video. We know that you have more people that will like this video, just show it to them. That's not going to happen if you're not putting the right things into your content. So there are essentially a few hashtag strategies that you need need to be implementing right now, here they are. The first one is no hashtags. Why no hashtags? So that you can realize that hashtags are not the most important part with this current TikTok algorithm. They make a huge difference, but they're not the most important thing. The thing that I'm gonna be sharing with you in just a second afterwards is what's actually most important when it comes to the TikTok algorithm, and it has recently changed. That being said, there are three other hashtag strategies you need to be using, here they are. First, three post-specific hashtags, three broad hashtags. Secondly, three broad hashtags, and then finally, two post-specific hashtags and one broad hashtag. Now remember, broad hashtags are things like hashtag FYP, hashtag viral, hashtag trending. Post-specific hashtags are gonna be whatever your actual post is about. And remember, you wanna be using the biggest hashtags when it comes to this. One other thing that I strongly recommend a lot of you guys be doing right now, you need to have a call to action in your video. Now, a lot of people are hesitant to put a call to action at the end of their video because they think that it's just off-putting. So put it in the description of your video. If you were to do this with the last TikTok algorithm, it would've 
hurt your views, but you're able to do it again. You can put follow for more XYZ. You could put click pause for XYZ. For example, if you're doing a weight loss video like Healthy Emmy does, guess what you're going to want to do? You're going to want to put follow if you want to lose weight or click pause to lose weight or click pause for more healthy recipes or something along the lines of that. And it is going to make a massive difference in the amount of followers that you're getting and the amount of views that you're getting because TikTok cares so much about whether or not somebody's following you when they're watching your video. The only thing that can help you, if you do not make the right topic of a video and you do not get the right amount of watch time, the only thing that can save you on TikTok is getting people to follow you. People do not have to complete the video. If they follow you, TikTok will continue to suggest that type of content to them. It will continue to suggest your videos to them and it will continue to push that video out even if it's not getting the watch time that you need. So please start adding that call to action back into your description. I know last time I told you not to do that, but this has changed and you can begin to do it again. Now, before I share with you the most important change with this current TikTok algorithm, I need to make sure that you're not making a couple of mistakes because if you're making these mistakes, it is really going to hurt the amount of views that you're getting. One, posting when your followers are online. Do not go based off of when your followers are online. Do not go based off of when your live says that they're online. You do not want to post at those times. You want to be posting at the best time to post on TikTok right now, which I have a full length video about that you can check out some other time. Secondly, you need to make sure that your content is for vertical video. TikTok wants it to be for vertical video. Third, no videos that are too short. Videos that are less than five seconds long are not going to do that great on TikTok. Pull them up to seven seconds long. Pull them up to nine seconds long. Putting really, really short clips, even if you do a bunch of really short clips in your videos, guess what's gonna happen with that? TikTok is not going to be pushing out their content because they think that the video content is just too short and that's not what they wanna be promoting on the app. In addition, you cannot be using copyrighted content. Do not be using copyrighted content unless it's for fair use. Now you're probably wondering, Rob, what is fair use when it comes to copyright? Short clips, you do not want them to be longer than they have to be. You need to be critiquing something, you need to be commenting something, or you will have to make meaningful edits to that video, which is as simple as just putting text on the screen, putting a hook into it, which honestly is going to help you get more views anyway. And then finally, you need to make sure that you are not uploading videos that have a watermark in them. If you want to know how you can remove a watermark, let me know in the comments section below how you can download a video in HD without distorting anything while removing the watermark because I will make a full length video on it because there's a very, very simple tool out there that you can use to make sure that there are no copyrights on your videos. Now, if you do do any of the things that I just mentioned to you, you will get shadow banned, you will get kicked off the For You page, and that is one of the biggest mistakes you can make right now because it's easier to grow on TikTok if you're doing these things that I shared with you and the thing that I'm about to share with you next, it is easier to grow on TikTok than it ever has been before and this organic reach is not going to last. This might be the last wave of organic reach, so you need to make sure that you're taking advantage of it. Brands are coming on a TikTok, you're able to sell things on TikTok now. There are people making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month selling things simply by posting on TikTok, going viral on TikTok, and then continuing to make the same type of content over and over and over again. And you can do the same exact thing if you adapt to this new algorithm. So please do not take this opportunity for granted. Make sure you take advantage of it because you're literally one post away on TikTok from completely changing your life. I've seen it happen to thousands and thousands of people and I want it to happen to you next, which is why you need to make sure that anything that you post right now fits the following criteria. One, has the same keyword in it as the original video. Two, is something that has been trending in the last 48 hours. Three, is something that plays off of something that is trending either within your niche or broadly on TikTok. If the video does not fit those three criteria, it is just not going to work. It is not going to do well. And you need to make sure that it's fitting those three criteria. If it doesn't fit those criteria, it is not going to perform how you want it to. Trust me, it doesn't matter how many followers you have. This is why you see on TikTok a creator with a million followers that doesn't get a lot of views and then they post a different video and they do get a lot of views. It's not because TikTok hates them. It's not because they're shadow banned. It's simply because their video did not fit those three criteria and that's why TikTok is not pushing it out. If you want your videos pushed out, make sure they fit those three criteria. For example, this creator right here has done an absolutely amazing job by making sure that everything that they post fits that criteria and that's how they went from losing followers to gaining followers again, even though they took six months off of posting and now they're going viral, not every single time that they post, but a few times a week and that has allowed them to gain a ton of followers in a really, really short period of time and you can do the same exact thing.
Because at the end of the day, if you're not creating content for an audience that TikTok knows that they have, it's going to be the reason that your content isn't pushed out. But I do wanna help you. I am willing to literally personally look at your account if you keep watching this video. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach is not going to last forever. And the only thing separating you from the creators that I mentioned in this video is one, that you haven't implemented the steps from this video yet. And two, you haven't gotten into my mentorship program where I literally guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. If you register for this program, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and I'm gonna critique your content for 30 days in order to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. You heard that right. If you don't grow on TikTok in this program, you get your money back, zero questions asked. The average person that has joined the program in the last 30 days gained over 50,000 followers and the lowest amount of followers anybody has ever gained in the program is 6,500 followers. If you want results like that, and I'm guessing that since you're still watching this video, you're probably above average, so you probably see more than 50,000 followers in just 30 days, no matter what niche you're in, no matter what background you're from, none of that stuff matters. The only thing that matters is you need a social media coach. You need somebody telling you what to post when to post, what hashtags to use so that you get results faster and you get results a lot easier. If that sounds interesting, go to the link in the description below. There are limited spots available and the price is gonna be going up in 2022, so please make sure you check this out. This is the same exact program Joel Magician used to gain over 16 million followers, that Avmoves used to gain over 14 million followers, that Tuvok used to gain over 10 million followers and thousands of other creators. I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not gonna last forever. If you wanna take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in, I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not gonna last forever. If you wanna take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in this before the price goes up, before there are no spots available, so that you can guarantee that you grow on TikTok. At the end of the day, you have absolutely nothing to lose. You're either going to grow on TikTok or you are going to get your money back, zero questions asked. Go to the link in the description and sign up right now before spots run out. And by the way, if you're not interested in that, just check out the two videos I'm going to put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.